everybody, my name is Brick by Brick, and welcome back to another episode. Now, today we are taking a look at this ginormous battleship. I call it the HMCS Devastator. Now, if you're wondering what HMCS stands for, just look it up on the internet. And, uh, basically this is it. It's number 7206. Now, actually, if you're wondering, that's actually just a sticker. That's the number. It's not a print or anything. We had to peel it off another piece and put it on. But this thing looks beast. I have to tell you, it looks so cool. And it's going to take me a while to do this video because it's hard to get below deck. I mean, this is, comes equipped with storage, which is impossible to get to. But technically, right there is a little bit of storage. Do not mind that generous penguin thing. I just flip that up there. Now, this comes equipped with a bunch of weaponry, and uh, we have a bunk in the front. Probably I will not be able to show that to you guys. And probably I will not be able to show you the engine room. Maybe, maybe. Or slash miniature sonar room. So, just take this off the stand. Boom. Done. Now, as you can see, we have a forward cannon. Forward deck cannon. A generous ramming area here. Well, I wouldn't really suggest ramming with a battleship. It's, like, very messy. And you know, this is actually a patrol boat because it had to be twice as big, if, like, plus half this to be a destroyer or, like, one of the ones, like, a miniature destroyer. And then that plus another half would be a full-size destroyer. Now, if you guys are wondering, the measurement of this is 87.5 centimeters long. Now, I have no idea how many, that's almost a meter, that's about almost three feet. I have no idea how many inches it is, but as you can see, let's just start here. I already showed off this area. You have a rail gun. Now, do not judge me by putting a rail gun on this. Sometimes they would actually have a rail gun, though it's very uncommon to have a rail gun. So if I can open this, there you can throw a person like a, I don't know. Maybe you can hide some ammo. Probably a bad idea if you get shot right there because then it's going to blow up. Right there's a weapons cache. And there's the rear gun. So, if I settle the camera down, let's just do this. And I'll walk you guys through this. So, really. I can't see what's going on with the camera right now. So, I'm going to slide this right here. There. Hopefully now you can see the back. And it's probably leaning a little bit. So there it is. Let me grab some characters. Just some random ones. Uh, two more should do the job. That's good. Okay. Let's get this... A little bit started. Just soundproofing the room so that nobody gets annoyed. <laughs> Everybody does that once in a while. You know? You want to take this guy? Wait, wrong guy. Be a yellow guy. Yeah, because I kind of color-coded the uh, sailors. Got a little spin on the camera. Sorry. And so yellow would mean... Gunners and weapon specialists. Blue, this is a security officer. Er, which would mean blue is basically officers and engine crew. This is engine crew. And then red means medical and pilots. So yeah. Let's get a yellow guy. He's about to sit the red one down. That would have been a... Color coding mayhem. Alright. Oh my gosh, it was just like breathing heavily. You can aim it up, aim it down. These do not swivel. They're, they just go up and down, up and down. And he will eventually hit his head on the weapons cache. Moving a bit back, you have the weapons cache. You have this antenna. Do not know why that's there. You have a little door that would, like a block head that would head on down below deck and you have a uh, depth 
charge. Forgot that. If you flip the ladder up here, that's the depth charge. It is removable, but it brings a bit of tiling with it, which is annoying. Back down. Flip the ladder back down. And then you have a ginormous ladder. Now, once you go up with the ladder, you can get to these two antennas, a little, I don't know, a little storage container, and the sonar and the radar bar. Now, say you have a sniper rifle and you're under attack, you can use this as a sniping port. Now, inside the bridge, there isn't that much detail, except for maybe there's a back window. I'll try to lean this over. Yeah, you can see there's a console there. And maybe if I can get in there. No, I can't get in there. Slide around this again. But kind of right there, you guys probably can't see because I can't see. Here. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I have a flashlight, so hopefully. Oop! I just blew up the front turret. You can kind of see the console right there. Let me just get that turret fixed and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm kind of back. Had to make a new turret model because I don't know. How Sorry for the drunk, guys. That was a little. There is a generous, yeah, see, there's a bunch of bumping around right now, but I really hope you guys enjoyed looking at this generous battleship. And if you want to see it all, this is going to be hard to do. That is the entire thing. Anyway, see you guys next time, and please subscribe.